Hey, yo guys, it's time to watch Blizzard's latest game announcement. It's called War. Warcraft Arclight Rumble, and it is the next installment of Warcraft games. It's not maybe what you wanted. It's not maybe what you deserved. But maybe it's better than nothing. I'll let you be the judge of it, and I'll watch completely unopinionated. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think I can hold back. Uh, we got the video right here. Uh, the question from Diablo Immortal don't you guys have phones is uh still valid but we must also certainly ask don't you guys have kids because i'm not sure that i at 65 years no 35 years old am the target audience for this i i've taken a look at this and uh i think i'm i'm both afraid that it might be fun i'm afraid how much they expect it to cost whether it's pay to win and it's it's a <laughs> I found it a little hard to watch at times as well, but I think there's good and bad. Let's take a look. cinematic was Warcraft 3 Diablo 1 Diablo 2 Diablo 3 4 There is an age demographic change here Wait I think Thrall used an Uther hum here Oh my god they recycled the Uther hmm uh thinking sounds and they used it for an orc no man come on i'm getting clash royale vibes here this looks like a like a slot machine like doesn't this have the ident like the symbology the symbolism of a slot machine. Those four shutters. So, uh, let's talk about the name Warcraft Arclight Rumble. Uh, doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, does it? I think either Arclight or Rumble would have done it. But I guess they wanted the acronym of W-A-R, War. Which is both confusing, but also kind of a good acronym. I mean, it's better than Heart of the Swarm Hots, Heroes of the Storm Hots, like where you actually are ruining your own acronym. You know, Riot went with Team Fight Tactics, which is TFT, which is Warcraft TFT, the Frozen Throne TFT. I found that to be pretty annoying, but I get the rivalry and competition you can have with another gaming company. But when you compete with your own acronyms like <laughs> Starcraft Hots and Heroes Hots, I found that to be pretty dumb. So. I think the acronym WAR is good, but it's a bit too... I think it's a bit too much. Hi, I'm Justine. And I'm Adam, and today we have the honor of introducing you to... Warcraft! Warcraft Arclight Arclight Rumble! Rumble! So what is this game? What is this game? No. <laughs> <laughs> this has so much Clash Royale vibes as well. They also have two goofy developers doing uh, the intro in Clash Royale. I've watched some of those developer updates. It also has dungeons and raids and PvP and co-op and everything you'd expect of a Warcraft game from Blizzard. They're really we trying to games. copy that vibe. Tower defense games. Our game isn't really tower defense. It's more our style to do a tower offense game. It's joyful chaos. And we're aiming to bring our Blizzard best to mobile games that inspire us. Chaos reigns. All the chaos. Please Can't stop chaos counting text. chaos, it's distracting. In basements of taverns all across Azeroth, a mysterious machine has been found. Is it new? 
Has it always been there? Powered by Gnomish Engineering and Arclight. This machine has been generating famous and infamous... Professional war player win. <laughs> so when the battle begins, you'll come to the battlefield with your army, ready to go assault the boss. So there's a base for you to defend. I don't know if, if I should base laugh dies, or cry. Your run is over. <laughs> <laughs> also, there's meeting stones on the map. If we control the meeting stone, we can play things closer to the boss. If the enemy controls the meeting stone, they're going to come at us a little bit closer as well. There's also towers on the map for you to go capture. They're so relatable, so nerdy, So you can assault the boss directly. There's also shinies that you can get. There's gold nodes and treasure chests to plunder. You got to get the shiny. Give me the shiny. Shiny. The more gold that you can get, the more chaos you can rain upon the field. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this game is that every mini has their own personality and every single one of them thinks they're the coolest. And they're all wrong, except for Blackrock Pyromancer. Yes! In Warcraft Arclight Rumble, we have five families. The Alliance! The Noble Alliance with a lot of defensive units and spells. Aha! There's also the Horde! The Proud Horde that will overpower your enemies. They're hiding the card levels oh here in this part but of the reveal. Also Blackrock! to sear a hole in your enemy's defenses. Let's throw down! There's, of course, the undead. Like, none of the units have ton card levels. The but I'm pretty, pretty sure that they have card levels. Beasts. We also have a literal stampede from the plains and jungles of Azeroth. With all of the chaos going on with the troops, we need somebody to lead this rabble. Leaders are a way to cater your strategy and build a specific play style. That Jaina looks you. different if you again. Want to play siege units, go for Sneed. I'm down. Sneed has a trait called Sneed's Greed that makes all of your siege units grab extra gold. My personal favorite is Ren, with his ability Black in the Sky. It makes all of your flying units one gold cheaper, so you can fill the air. I'm afraid with the game chaos. will actually be fun. Yeah. But I also know how much games like Crash Royale expect you to spend. Minis for you to play with. But you don't need to have an understanding of Warcraft. My prediction is that for the first six to seven card levels, you're going to get gold streaming in. You're going to get new cards streaming in. Then you need to spend gold to upgrade those cards. And there's gold coming in from everywhere. There's new player bonuses. There is daily quests. There are clickables. There's dots everywhere that you have to click. And, and connect and then suddenly you start getting a little bit less gold you're starting to get more and more cards but you can't use the cards until you upgrade them so now you are at like level seven card level you're playing against people that have level eight card level and if you want to upgrade your card so it's 10 percent stronger then you need to put in gold but you don't have gold but you could buy a little gold you can get a really good deal for one dollar uh, and then you get loads of gold, 100,000 gold, but next time it costs $5, <laughs> that kind of thing. Now, it is possible that it's not going to be pay to win. I don't see any monetization discussions or introductions here, but that's what I expect. Craft, to be able to embrace the chaos. Yes! A sense of exploration and wonder should come across regardless. Speaking of wonder, let's go play a game. We're going to do it live. I mean, it'll be edited later, but that's okay. Welcome to Jinrok's Swole Troll Isle. A test of strength. This is a fun it's map. It's kind of cool to see the characters we know. Justine did the art. We have like, our animators looks okay. and our character it's a bit artists make all this happen. There's so many people that go into making this a reality. The goal of the Swole Troll Patrol is to punch your base in the face. Smash that start if button. If they told you it was pay to win, would you start playing? <laughs> oh. Are, are you saying skill, like skill can be replaced with money? I would ask how much. Maybe we can win this thing with your support. Let's go. Okay. Here comes a troll. He's coming down our lane. And the first thing we're going to do is have some harpies go say hello. There's a kobold that's already... Am I going to play it? Well, I'm going to try it for sure, yeah. <laughs> as much as I was hoping that Blizzard would be today the company that would uh, fix reforts and create Warcraft 4 on PC, I know they are not that anymore. I'm not surprised. I knew that they were probably mostly only working on mobile games now after Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4. Uh, are done so like i'm not surprised by this in any way and i have played other mobile games and i think some of them are fun but i also think that even the most fun mobile games have over monetization models that are not necessary for monetization but they are very desired by the dev for additional uh, revenue it would still be profitable without some of the most egregious pay to win schemes but they just want to do it anyway which i guess is the extreme of capitalism 
trying to steal gold over there. We're gonna let him go for that though. There's a bat rider coming and we have a huntress. Let's play a huntress to help this out a little bit. And here comes another swole troll. But there are some fun games. Some chickens to meet that like, for example, oh. Command and Conquer Rivals was hunters. also fun. I played it. There was a lot of pushback down. on when I played it. <laughs> Because people are like, this is not Command & Conquer yeah, RTS on mobile. I'm like, yeah, it's a different game. I enjoyed it. But I stopped playing it because people like hated it. My audience hated it. This one may be fun as well. Possibly. There's some chickens coming. I don't care about those chickens. But that kobold... I think it's edited, Claire audience. The match probably didn't last 10 seconds. Need some more gold, though. Let's go. Yeah, CSC it. Rivals was also a bit pay to win. Our harpy addiction. All right, good. Have those chickens come in and peck that swole troll, just like it's a snack. Oh my gosh, look at all of these units coming in here. But one chain lightning is all we need. Shiny. Hopefully that kobold sneaks by. Ah, oh, there you go. Woo! It looks really slow paced oh, when you watch it. Time. All right. Down to the wire. Harpies, come on. Time's running, time's running out. Too close. Oh, they, right, it seems right, they walk right. twice Let's as fast when time is running out. Brilliant. Where can I download this on YouTube? Sorry, we removed dislikes. <laughs> I didn't want like dislikes to be removed. That's just one of but the they 70 did. plus maps that we have for you to play all over Azeroth. So what, what is all this? Did you see, did you see like, what is, they're like quests? Oh, they're like quests. To play all you get 40 Azeroth. gold if you complete it. One of my favorite maps is going back to Stranglethorn, deep in the jungle. Is Gurubashi Looks a bit like Minion Arena. Masters. King yeah, Hooper true. I played that too. Chucks and and there's a couple of apes in Ungro that have some banana armaments. We've got the Benini Gun by Ukluk. Ungro also has Devil Sword Queen. The Tyrant of Looks kind of cute. comes stomping down and you just have to take her down before she bites your base. Tasty base. There's always going to be unique challenges depending on each map when it comes to maps that require you to be able to take charge of the high ground or combat massive cannon bombardment from a ship. There's so many ways that you can customize your minis using talents. Their abilities can be augmented in all different sorts of directions. Mayav has a really awesome talent called Cloak of Shadows. Wherever you play you see, on the map. She's level six, I think, right? And a legendary card, so... And, and these cards are level one, which is default. So it's probably gacha in that sense, like uh, Clash Royale. She will cast Smoke Bomb and stealth everything around her so you can make a mobile assault squad anywhere on the map. By the talents. Warcraft. Warcraft. Arclight. Arclight. Rumble. Rumble. This game has so many ways to play varied content every single day, every single week. You get to play a new dungeon every week. We didn't talk about dungeons. We didn't talk about dungeons. You can play dungeon solo, or if you want to play co-op, you can as well. We didn't talk about co-op. We forgot to talk about co-op. Co-op, you can join a guild. You can play with your friends. You can join a guild and you can fight your friends. Fight, fight, fight. You can go play raids with them. There's so many things to do in this game. We didn't talk about raids. You're just going to have to stay tuned for more information, aren't you? Close bid is coming to limited regions soon, so keep an eye on social media for more information. On behalf of the team, we are... Okay, uh, question to everyone. Do you recognize anyone from old Blizzard? Tom Chilton? Jay Patel. So excited for you guys to get your hands on this, and we really, really look forward to your feedback. And right, there's two people. Thank Jay so Patel worked on the original Warcraft uh, 3, and he worked on Warcraft 3 Reforged before they axed the rest of the project. Uh, Tom Chilton. Tom Chilton, didn't you do both Warcraft 3 and Starcraft 2? Tom Chilton Blizzard. A game director for Blizzard Entertainment, Tom Chilton is dedicated to ensuring World of Warcraft is as. Uh, I think I think it was was on uh, Warcraft Three as well. Much for hanging out with us. Enjoy the joy. Enjoy the chaos. The chaos. It never Stop ends. Stop counting chaos. 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 Pretty 
pretty bad music. Look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> so bad I don't think kids even like this Warcraft Mobile coming to a store near you soon. What do you think? Are you gonna play it? I, I might. I didn't like the trailer much. I think it's a little cringe. Though I don't use that term often because I'm like, be you. You know, do you. People say things are cringe and I think, uh, well, just do you. Like, for, for instance, if someone that doesn't sing well is singing, I don't say cringe. I, I think, be you. But I don't think this was them. It didn't feel that authentic. So I don't think they're really being them. It was cringe because they were trying to create a, a mood and it, it didn't sell for me. But I'll still try the game. I don't know if I'll try it on stream or not, but I'm going to try it out, see if it's fun. Might be. And then, uh, well, when I need $100 to advance to the next arena, then I will ask a hard question to myself. <laughs> All right. See you next video. Let me know what you think.